Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Akash Biology. In today's topic, we will continue our previous lecture that was on the structure of immunoglobin. So today we will deal about the what? The immunoglobin G. That is the major immunoglobin that is present in the human body or in the human serum. So the principal site of action of the immunoglobin G is the human serum and it constitutes the 75 to 80 percent of the total immunoglobin that is present in the human body. So the principal site of action. So it is often known as serum immunoglobin. What serum immunoglobin? So it present in the serum. That is the seventy two five to eighty percent of the total immunoglobin. What total immunoglobin? Then after that, its concentration in the blood is what twelve mg per ml of blood. So it is present in the concentration of twelve mg per ml of blood. Now coming on to the structure of immunoglobin G, likewise that of the structure of the immunoglobin that I have dealt earlier, so it is same and that were inverted gum, Y shaped. So this is what, this is the heavy chain, this is the light chains. So any of the immunoglobin is made up of two heavy chains and two light chains. So similarly it has two heavy chains and two light chains. So heavy chain contain one constant regions, one variable regions. So it has also got the one constant region, one variable. So the light chains may be of, I have stated earlier, it may be of the kappa type or the lambda type. So, but they are never found in combinations. So any of the light chains can be found in kappa kappa or lambda lambda, but they will never be found in kappa lambda combinations. Now, <coughs> The total molecular weight of immunoglobin G is 1,54,000 Daltons. What? 1,54,000 Daltons. Among which the heavy chain has a molecular weight of what? What? 55,000 Daltons. What? 55,000 Daltons. Daltons. That is of the heavy chain. Now, in that of what? The light chain has 22,000. What? 22,000 Daltons. So, two heavy chains means 1,10,000 and two heavy chains that is the 44, comprising of what? A total of 1,54,000 Daltons. So, that is what of the immunoglobin Z about the molecular weight. Now, main of the thing that is the secretion and the function of the immunoglobin. So, whenever we are being encountered with any of the infections, the first immunoglobin to arrive at the site is the IgM. What? IgM. So if we are being asked which is the following immunoglobin which arrives fastest at the site of actions to encounter with what the antigens it is the IgM. So IgM will take 7 to 8 days to come to the site of actions. But the thing that is about the IgM is IgM come early and feed early. What? IgM comes early and feed early. So we can know about what the from the graph. So let's say a person is having infections. What infections? So liver and the immunoglobin. What immunoglobulin? So whenever a person is being what uh, encountered with the what the infections, then first is rises what the IgM what IgM. So IgM will rise in what five to six days. What five to six days? But it will the soon what after one week it will fade up. What it will fade up. Now, this is what about the IgM. So, IgM is the immunoglobin that comes early and fades early. But the thing about the IgG is what? IgG will rise lately. What? Rise late and will persist till the infection is there. So, it is what? IgG. That is a two weeks after infection generally. So, IgG is the main immunoglobin that is providing what adaptive, what the cell mediated or the adaptive immunity or the secondary immune response. Secondary immune response. So, if we are deficient of IgG, then we will never be cured of any of the things. Because this is the immunoglobin or the IgG immunoglobin that is, helps us to fight with the infection during the prolonged illness or the chronic illness. Because just IgM comes and fades away in a short duration of time. So it mainly comes about one week and persists up to two weeks. So it will be gone. So the main thing that will persist is the IgG. So if we are being asked which of the following immunoglobin is the main immunoglobin that helps to fight with infection is what? None other than the IgG immunoglobin. Now another thing. 
and for the formation of for the action of IgG it requires what T cell help what T cell help that is the cell mediated immunity help I think you are being cleared from over here now as this IgG comes late and it has a it will persist long so it has a half-life maximum what half-life so it has half-life of 23 days what half-life of 23 days now it has a unique catabolism what unique catabolism so we know metabolism is the turnover of any of the cells so it has metabolism contains of two phases one anabolism second one is the catabolism so anabolism means formation catabolism means what the destructions what metabolism means metabolism consists of two phases anabolism and the catabolism catabolism so it means formation and it means what the destruction so the IgG has a unique phase of destruction or the catabolism so it has a unique catabolism how it is unique it has a unique catabolism that we will know so its catabolism can be understood from the, this so let's say this is the body or the serum serum and this is the what it's serum or in the body parts so when the concentration of immunoglobin IgG is high in serum high in serum then the what production will stop what the production stops so it acts through a feedback mechanism whenever its role is high less like, like our body so when our tummy is full then our satiety center will not have any hunger like perceptions but when our tummy is empty it has a crunching like action crunching like action then our the hunger center will say your body has to feed similarly in the IgG if its level in the serum is high then production decreases what production decreases then what happens for acute thing what so if we are suffering from any types of prolonged illness like as the multiple myeloma or the Kalazar so all of the uh, preformed immunoglobin G will come into the serum so it will tell the body to reduce the productions so after some time what happens in the serum it will it will be what destructed but at the same time the production is low so it will forming what the prolonged illness but prolonged illness because our body is thinking we have evident amount of ig in the serum and it will not be producing it i think you hope you are clear second second thing when there is a hypogamma globulinemia what hypogamma globulinemia globulinemia conditions means there is a decrease in the synthesis of IgG immunoglobin in our body let's say any of the following conditions now if we administer IgG from outside then it will be catabolized very less so the what the catabolism becomes slow so similarly our body ha has a brain similarly all of the gamma global anemia has also had brain so here our body is deficient of IgG so when we passively administer IgG then IgG will be catabolized rapidly because our body is not have enough for stores so it is catabolism is unique in the form because it has a feedback mechanism what feedback mechanism means one thing is related let's say this is the brain and this is the what synthesis center what synthesis center and this is the consumption so whenever the consumption is high or the, the concentration is high let's say it's the stores so whenever it is the high the synthesis stops whenever this is low then synthesis increases simpler thing and it has major implications in the case of erythroblastosis fetalis how it happens let's be discuss so all we know about the erythroblastosis fetalis what erythroblastosis fetalis so it is a condition let's say rh positive father marriage with the rh negative mother rh positive father rh positive father so they have a child what child so child will become also what the rh positive so there is what circulations from here to here, there so as the RH positive blood will pass to the RH negative mother so RH negative mother will form what antibodies what antibodies so first child will be normal but when the second child will be born so the preformed antibody in the RH negative mother try to what 
agglutinate or the clump or want to destroy the RBC of the child and child will be stillborn. So in order to prevent these conditions, what we are doing, we are injecting IgG what? IgG immunoglobin to the mother. Now the immuno, now the body is store of the RH negative mother things. I have evident amount of IgG. So the production of IgG will be stopped. What? The production of IgG that is the natural form will be stopped and the IgG we are, that we are administrating into the what I, RH negative mother is being modified so that it will not cause harm to the child. Esko matlab, RH negative mother ma kei ki first child jami sa ke paji, usko mat antibody formation bhoi sa ke prati, child ko prati. So hami ki so IgG after some modification bhitra hale vane, यहाँ स्टोर में तो बहुत सा आईजीजी तरह आईजीजी के जो मॉडिफाइड्स हैं नेचुरली क्यों उनसे जो आईजीजी फॉर्म होने चाहिए तो इसको कंसंट्रेशन के वो घटते हो यानी आमले आपने प्रोडक्शन करें ना एंड द चाइल्ड विल बी स्पेयर्ड सो दिस इज़ द मेजर इम्प्लिकेशंस ऑफ़ द आईजी इम्यूनोग्लोबिन एंड acquired passive immunity what passive immunity immunity similarly let's say this is the what the structure of immunoglobin so this has two heavy chains and the two light chains so the both fab receptors are identical what fab receptors are identical so its valency is two because of two identical antigen binding site so it is often known as divalent immunoglobin what divalent immunoglobin now as we have stated earlier from our previous video that the immunoglobins are subdivided into various types on the basis of what the heavy chains heavy chains what on the basis of the heavy chains similarly the what immunoglobin G is also divided into ig1 ig2 igg3 and IgG 4 so IgG 1 is present in the maximum concentration of what the 65 percent IgG 2 into 23 percent similarly IgG 3 into the 8 percent and it is into the 4 percent so the major immunoglobin is the what though it is present in the maximum concentrations the major immunoglobin that is crossing the placenta and that acts or the what that fight with the what the bacterial antigens is the IgG2 so it fights with the bacteria with bacteria or the phagocytose bacteria now the major immunoglobin that is activating the complement that is the classical component so what is complement system that I will be dealing with later on so complement are a group of non-specific proteins that activates to fight with the antigens or any pathogen that and it acts in associations with the immunoglobins so it has two path one classical path and the alternating path when it acts in conjugations with the immunoglobins or the antibody then it forms the classical pathway and when it acts with the bacteria alone then it forms the alternate pathway so as it is forming the antigen antibody complex so IgG3 is the major immunoglobin that is activating complement activating classical complement system so complement are a group of non-specific proteins and along with it it is also accompanying ig1 and the igm so which of the following immunoglobin will act, activate the classical component it is the igg igm and the ig1 so this is the thing now anything that i have forgotten similarly it is the major immunoglobin that is present both in the it can diffuse both the intravascular component as well as the extravascular component so let me remind you about the fluid compound component of our body so our body has what the body fluid body fluid so body fluid is of two types that is present inside the cell that is what intracellular then comes the what extracellular what extracellular now in the extracellular there are two types what what that is what 
uh, intravascular that is present inside the blood vessels and second one is the what the plasma or the interstitial what interstitial and third one is the transcellular transcellular compartment so intracellular means it is present inside the cell extracellular means that is present outside the cells so intravascular means it is the blood what plasma what plasma inside the blood is there are what cells that is the blood blood cells and the surrounding blood cells is the intravascular component interstitial means it is surrounding what the cells it is surrounding cells and the transcellular means these are present in the synovial fluids they are present in synovial fluids that is the articulating parts of our body so it is the only immunoglobin that can diffuse between what this all will form what extravascular what extra vascular compartment so it can diffuse between both the two because it has got more permeability what more permeability let's say this is the blood vessels so it has got permeability to pass from both the intravascular and the extravascular component and can neutralize the every toxins so this process has in the neutralization of toxins toxins this is the simple thing similarly let's say this is the what the immunoglobin so this is the apc receptor what apc receptor so apc receptors binds with what the macrophages what the macrophages because i have told you they what ch2 and ch3 ch1 ch2 ch3 so these apc receptor come but binds with the what the macrophage helps in the phagocytosis of the microorganisms what phagocytosis of the microorganisms and this all is about the immunoglobin g and if you have difficulty in any of the topics of biology then you can directly comment on my youtube channels and i know my video needs appreciable modifications so what are those modifications that you need to have you can directly comment and i will take it as a compliment and lots of students are asking me brother i'm not getting motivation to study then the thing that you can get example from me even my videos are not getting enough views and enough response from the people though i am making videos because you need to move on what and another day if you are doing better then you will get success so don't lose hope because hope is the only breeze or the thing or the ladder that's accompanying you to success can uplift your potential because you don't know what is the potential inside you us and it is not the extraordinary thing that makes you outstanding it's the ordinary thing that you make your weapon to make it extraordinary so you all have got the potential to do better the only thing that you like is the enough motivations so you can take motivation from any places even you can see a lot of people are moving on the streets the portions who are on the average will go that speed but the person who goes on a fast speed can always beat the person who are average so you have to do a hard work you have to do immense dedications because any of the things which are hard to achieve